is a disappointment to Nigerians, says Aisha Yusufu. Hey guys, this is 2DJ MTV Daily News Update. The conveyor of Bring Back Our Girls, Aisha Yusufu, has said the governor of Anambra State Provincial Charles Chukuma Soludo is a disappointment to Nigerians. Recall that DJMTV has earlier reported that the governor of Anambra State, Professor Charles Shukuma Soludo, has said that the alleged investment of the presidential candidate of the Labour Party and the former governor of Anambra State, Peter Obi, in the state. The governor was very clear in his perspective on the investment of the government outside the public sector with reference to Obi as the former governor of Anambra State. Soludo simply said, I don't know about the investment. I'm not talking about investment of any other of my predecessor, by the way, the one that you talk about, I don't know about that. I think there was something I read about somebody speculating about whatever investment. With what I have seen today, the value of those investments is worth next to nothing. So let's leave that aside, he said. But reacting to the statement from Governor Soludo Charles, Aisha Yusufu said, Soludo's remark and attack on Peter Obi is unprovoked and a clear indication of jealousy. She also said that Soludo is a disappointment to Nigerians. We are not bothered about what Governor Soludo has said because it is clear that the South East elites and the political class are not in support of their very own Peter Obi. But it is very good because Peter Obi is not the South East president, he is a Nigerian president because he has been adopted by Nigerians. Let's watch the video, we'll be right back. Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Aisha's Take. I know this issue has been spoken about so much by different people and there have been so many takes. But I just felt, I just needed to express myself on this, it's something that is so disappointing uh it's on the issue of uh charles soludo and the statement he made on uh, peter obi honestly soludo is such is such a disappointment just hearing that from him i mean for me the the most important thing in the whole of that issue was the fact that that statement was unprovoked you know, there are certain things that you say, okay, the person was now speaking, there was something that provoked it or something. So I, don't, I just don't get it. He could have decided not to answer that question. He could have answered it away. Even the way he was like, oh, I came here to talk about the, the budget and you're here bringing Peter up. You know, you could just see it, it reeked so much. Should I call it envy? It's what my people call agbokolomialu. I just don't get it. And how some people call that hasada. Whether it's envy, whether it's jealousy, I don't get it. This is someone who is running for president and it's from your state. And you know, there's even if it's not the same party, sometimes there's that ownership. I I don't know. If any even if and this is someone that during his campaign, he used this person very well. When you were talking about, oh, the good things that Apka had done, Peter Obi had done this, had done that, had done this, had done that, had done that. And then all of a sudden, you're coming out now to say that, oh, the investment, whatever, is next to nothing and all of that. And I just love the way citizens have really gone documenting and telling him, okay, let's do comparison. Today, the Nigerian Naira is next to nothing. So that means it's your fault because you were once CBN governor. And that was, it's, it's almost with the CBN governor, his own tenure, and MFL. I think it's the, almost, yeah, it's the same thing. Because after Soludo was when uh, uh, Sanusi Lamido Sanusi came in as governor, and then we have MFL that is such a disaster in office right now. So it will not be that, oh, okay, then we will not be blaming Soludo for the NERA, for what's happening to the NERA now. It just so it just so it just saw something else. But the thing that I see, which I see for from my own view, and this is Aisha's take on the whole issue of you find out that the southeastern political elite, most of them are not are not in support of Peter Obi, which is which is okay. Peter Obi is not a southeastern candidate; he's a Nigerian candidate, and that's it. We've adopted, and I'm sure you guys saw what happened in Edo State. My oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, when we tell you people I don't know they carry last, and I know they hear. Anyway, that's not what I want to talk about now. It's basically on this uh, 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 Ch uh, Charles Soludo statement. So the thing is this. So I, my own take, I just take on this, is the fact that the political elite from the southeastern region feel that, yes, power is going to come to the southeast, you know, later on, because at least it will be glaringly obvious that there's discrimination. And now, so they are biding their time, waiting for when the power comes, and then they will be the beneficiaries. So probably for people like Soludo or whatever, in the next eight, eight, eight years, when it gets to them, then they will not be the beneficiary. But now that they're saying this is not about the quota for the Southeast or whatever, this is about a candidate who is competent, who happens to be from the Southeast. And so they are not getting it. They are just all over the place and angry. And they are not even hiding their anger and envy and jealousy and whatever it is that you may call it. It's it's so it's so it's so glaring. And it it's just it's just really it's just something else. Because I don't understand why people feel that they have to be the one to do something. For me, anybody that I see that feels like he's the only one who can be there or the, the one that should be, there are certain things that even if you're the one that should be, but you find out that, okay, well, it's all working out in your favor, but there's someone else that that person can get there. Support the person, get the person there, let's get the job done. At the end of the day, the major thing should be who is going, What's going to work best for Nigeria? But then, most of these people really don't have the issue of Nigeria in their mind. All they care about is their own personal uh, personal growth or personal gain or, and stuff like that. And they are not seeing it. But I'm really glad that people are standing up. People uh, are, not, are not just taking this lying down. Uh, enough of those times that politicians felt that they owned the political terrain in Nigeria. There are a group of Nigerian citizens who are saying, no, it's time for the people to finally own the political terrain. And I hope as um, as we go on, this this matures, this 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 gets into, you know, becomes the norm in Nigeria where it is the citizens that have the power, not few political big wigs. Welcome back guys, this is today's GMTV Daily News update. So here we have it, we've had from Aisha Yusufu, the conveyor of Bring Back Our Girls, uh, who has said that Soludo is a disappointment over the comments he made when he was being asked about the investment made by the former governor of Anambra State and the Labour Party uh, presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi. He said that uh, the investment that uh, he's been talking about is what next to nothing as are today. And that statement alone has inspired a lot of grievances, a lot of anger on the social media space and even um, physically. And Aisha Yusufu has reacted to the statement. She has also wondered why the political elite in Anambra State and the political class have refused to support their own Peter Obi. But she concluded by saying that Peter Obi is no longer a Southeastern president. He is a Nigerian president and he has been adopted by Nigeria. So guys, what are your thoughts and comments concerning um, what Professor Shasukum and Soludo said concerning uh, Peter Obi? And now Aisha Yusuf is coming out to say that Soludo um, is a disappointment with Nigeria so over the statement he made. And he said that Soludo is envious of Mr. Peter Obi as being the first uh, to be loved. A lot of Nigeria out there has alleged that Professor Shah Shukuma Soludo wanted to contest for the presidency before anyone in the state. And now that Peter Obi is um, coming out for the presidency before him, he's not happy about it. A lot of persons have also said that um, anybody in Anambra State is supposed to support their own Peter Obi, but the reverse is the case. So, guys, what do you think? Share your thoughts and comment with us in the comment section below.